Hello, there's Rebecca. Hello. So we are halfway through doing our makeup and getting ready to go to Kirsch Child. That's why I look like a pale little mole because only half of my face is done. So we um, are, have got lots planned, so I'm not gonna be too long because I don't want to be too long. But yes, we'll head out soon. Walking to the train station, we're ready in our matching um, clothes. She's got the half of her version, I've got the Gryffindor. Had to stop that one quickly because those people were walking past. When we say loads of people, it's like one person yeah, and a one dog. Person. But, that but dog was it, judging us. it was judging us hardcore. So we've got on matching and necklaces. We've both got a um, time turner and a golden snitch. Um, but I've got the red dress, yellow. Becca's got the lovely hair piece. I have got on my Gryffindor scrunchie, but I'm going to, be, our first stop is at King's Cross Station, so I'm going to go buy a bow. And match. then, Becca's shoes kind of match because they're brown. And then I've got some red Converse. Becca's got a spectacular bag full of wonderful Harry Potterness. And I've got a Gryffindor bag. <laughs> Would you like me to yeah. film it? <laughs> Down my dress. <laughs> Your hair's in the way. Okay, I got it. In. We just had an excellent conversation on the train nice, nice. with these two sort of middle-aged men, businessmen. Um, they all sat opposite them, and we literally talked the whole time about Harry Potter. And um, they knew loads about it, and they were telling us all their sort of ideologies, talking about theology. Yeah, it was excellent. We talked a bit about the referendum. Yeah, it was great. It was a great time. I like people like this, they make the day good. Heading towards Platform 9 3 quarters, we're in King's Cross Station. It's exciting. it's exciting times, very exciting indeed. So Sorry, you him. I'm proud. You miss. Hey, okay, super sunny. We are outside. Oh, yeah, you need to crouch. crouch. I can't do this. Walk. Outside King's Cross. We're about to go grab some food. We just got our photos taken at Platform Nine Quarters. Took a bit longer than anticipated. We were queuing for about an hour, uh, but we bought one of the photos that's of us too. Um, I look like an egg in it, but like no, I think it's don't. quite. This is a fun photo. Um, and so we're going to go get some food, then we're going to round to St Pancras to see where like the flying car flew over, and then we're going to Grimmel Place. So we'll keep you updated on what we're doing. We are at King's Cross St Pancras, which is, if you recognise from the second Harry Potter film, the flying car literally flies above where our heads are now. So this is a really like great place anyway. So yeah. Why do you do this to me? It is so great. You've got a lovely shoulder. Thank you. It's spectacular. This is just what I wanted. We are outside Brimmel Place. We're actually in Lincoln's in Fields, which is um, where they filmed Brimmel Place. So we've got it up there. We're right by this, um, the courtyard area where they were, which is pretty cool. Um, I think next we're heading to Leading Hall Market. Yeah, that sounds right. Awesome. Diagonally, here we come. Oh my god, my face. 
Okay, so we're here in Diagon Alley, basically. We're leaving the market. And that blue door right there, that was the entrance to the leaky cauldron that was used. So that's pretty cool, although it's an opticians now, so that's not yeah. as cool. Not quite so. graphics exhibition which um, I filmed stuff a lot of stuff but I didn't actually speak about it so yes um, we've got about we're gonna have about three hours to kill before Cursed Child but we're dragging it out and we're just gonna eat our pizza real slow and finish uploading I've been uploading to Instagram all day so yeah fun times look where we are can you believe it we are freaking out. Shocked. It's quarter past five, so we've still got some time. We're just going to chill here so we can be the first people in to get merch. We want to get that merch early. We want to be on that. losing it there are tears but purely from laughter i haven't yeah. been sad yet but oh my god we're not gonna give we can't give this. anything away but all i'm saying is best piece of theater probably i've ever seen yeah. in my life it's not from a theatrical expect. point of view yeah, the i've literally right. the first thing i did i just came wrote everything down i quickly liked that i can remember i wish i'd be taking notes as i did it but i just wanted to be in, like immersed in it so everything's out of order the way i'm glad i've done. written it down the way it's done is just it's it's insane it's absolutely insane oh my god I can't go. We just did stage door. We met guy, guys that played uh, Scorpius and um, Albus, which was excellent. They were both fantastic. Um, we can't say anything, obviously, keep the secrets. We've got our pins that tell us to. So we can't give you any information, but it was fantastic. That's all I will say. Absolutely bloody amazing, and I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, don't freaking out. <laughs> Ready and raring to go for day two of uh, Cursed Child. We've got some stuff planned this morning, some more stuff planned this evening, and then Cursed Child again. These are our outfits for today. I'm wearing my new Gryffindor t shirt from Cursed Child. Beck is rocking more Hufflepuff, I'm rocking more Gryffindor, and yes, amazing. We decided to go to King's Cross again today because Laura's decided even though I have no money at the moment, to go buy a Dobby plush. I'm not going to stop you. She's not going to stop me, so what can I do? I need restraining. She's not doing the restraining. I have no choice. My hands are tied. See ya.
Oh no, oh, it's not that horse. Look at the horse. Oh, okay, can't see the horse. Yeah. There's too many people. There's too many people. Dobby just got a photo with the horsey and the guard. It was very cute. Dobby's loving it. Dobby's loving it. We t the today, yesterday was very, very Harry Potter themed. Today we're just doing some sights and stuff really yeah. because we went to Great Scotland Yard and saw like the outside of where they filmed Ministry of Magic, which was really cool. Turns out the phone box isn't like a thing that actually exists. So we couldn't go to that, so that was sad. But we're heading to Millennium Bridge now, which is where what got destroyed in the film. So that'll be fun. Yes. Wise Hufflepuff, the one and only, um, and obviously Becca, but she's not important right now. No. So, uh, <laughs> Sorry. You've been in this all I'm day, behind. so. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> but we've been filming some collabs, so that's exciting. Uh, yeah, the camera's right here. We've got this whole setup going on, and some and suspicious Play Doh. Play -Doh. <laughs> you don't, you don't get to know what it is until. Oh wait, when are you uploading? We we'll synchronize it. Oh, I'm uploading this tomorrow if I edit. Okay, so this is going to be secret until secret you see till then. on Monday. Oh, We're yeah. going to go film another video now. Uh, and it's very exciting. It I, is I very was, exciting. I was really late to meet Laura and Becca today, which... Really like, it was only like 15 minutes. That's, yeah, but it's, I felt so bad. <laughs> we were literally just chilling. We had nothing else to do. Oh, okay. So it was and then, good. And then I randomly started bleeding on the bus. <laughs> and that was <laughs> really disgusting. I felt so bad because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> It's amazing. I just thought I have I have wet, wet, wet wipes in my backpack. Could I just use? <laughs> <laughs> do where this is going. We're just no. Gonna... We're just talking. <laughs> it just that's, I thought that sums up all my videos. Okay. I, yeah. I could never do vlogging. I would just sit this and is talk what this is why I talk for half an hour and yeah. I just told the camera like hello. Yeah. Why is my hair? I don't know. Anyway, it looks good. It looks it's just good. flying. What is my hair? <laughs> it looks great. Mine's just just like... chilling. My hair looks great. <laughs> yeah, you're just that confident. Yeah. So okay. anyway, we're going to film a video. Yeah. We are sat waiting in the queue again for Curse Child, Trez Exciting, for part two. We. Yeah, that's literally it. Yeah, that, that's it. We're just sat here. So, away. this is going to be near the end of the vlog, I reckon, because not much else is going to happen apart from probably I'll try and film some of us in the interval and maybe as we leave, just with a final verdict. But yes. Ah! <laughs> I have no words. I cried the entire second act. <laughs> Sorry. I can't remember that's the best tears again. I can't. <laughs> but it's a. Okay, so we just did stage door and we met everyone. Literally, this is completely signed. Completely covered. Mine's completely covered. We've got photos for pretty much everyone as well. I've missed my oh, train my to Manchester. She's missed her train back to Manchester. She's coming oh, back wow. with me. Who the hell cares at this point? This We're going to go it. home and cry and talk. And tomorrow we'll film some more videos, which I can't post. I can post probably the whole video for yeah, not, not specific. But um, yes. Wow. <laughs> Really ill now um, and tired. 
but I just want to say Ghost Child was insane, you guys won't be disappointed. Um, I really hope the story transpires as well in a book as it did on stage because it was obviously the most beautiful thing I've ever seen and um, I was basically just reading it the entire time and it was just stunning and it was like the craziest, weirdest, surrealist thing that's ever happened to me and I really hope you guys, if you get a chance to go see it, go see it and I really hope you guys fall in love with the story and the characters the way I did and yeah, it would be amazing to say yes. I hope you enjoyed this two day vlog, it's a bit of a mess, a bit all over the place, but yes, I hope you enjoyed it.